Hi, this is Saev Morton with the daily update on Eurofix. I post my exclusive market overviews with the key political and economical events, charts and important levels on the forexpisami.com forums weekly. This short video is a response to rapidly changing situation on the currency markets and should help you to stand top of the game and be profitable. I suggest you to visit forexpisami.com forum and read my analysis for the week before watching this daily video. Welcome everybody guys, right now we'll take a look at the gold market. Well, on the gold market, uh, we could say that uh, since Friday, the, since our daily update, we see that the growing degree of some sort of the uncertainty. Because as you can see on Friday, market has formed another doji, but uh, this doji has significantly a greater range of trading. And uh, this tells that some kind of uncertainty bit increased on the market and market still uh, hasn't taken the final direction, hasn't shown the real upset reversal and upward continuation. Well guys, if you will read our weekly research on the current week, you will see that uh, the upward action is mostly supported by the market sentiment. So we will we'll see right now by the CFTC data. Uh, the increasing of the long positions, increasing of the open interest, but the statistics of the SPDR fund stands mostly flat. So the fund doesn't show any inflow since the recent week. Right now, storage stands approximately 695 tons. Uh, last week, this was uh, 700 even tons. So it's approximately the same area. Uh, that's a bit uh, not quite surprising, but uh, it's not very typical for this relation between the CFTC numbers and the SPDR. So SPDR usually shows the same direction as the CFTC, but uh, maybe this difference stands with the date, dates. So the, the recent uh, CFTC date stands from the Wednesday, while the uh, SPDR fund stands on Friday. And so maybe something has, has happened during the recent sessions because major part of the retracement, as you can see, has uh, has started particularly in this level, in, in these days, so this drop has happened. From the technical point of view, guys, we see nothing uh, that uh, could tell about the failure of the bullish setup or something of that sort. In fact, market, market does nothing but just reach the upper border of our range that we have um, pointed as the possible retracement target. So 1160, 1158 is just the first FIP support from this lows to this top. While we have specified an area around 1155, 1150, it's very probable this market could reach it. Also, guys, take a look that the market is forming right now the bullish flag pattern. And uh, from on the daily, on the daily chart, uh, we see nothing really uh, dangerous for the bullish setup by far. So absolutely normal reaction on the market. Don't forget that market stands at the very bottom here, and the retracement is very small. Because usually when the market uh, hits the overbought, it usually tends to show the deeper retracement because the overbought makes the additional pressure on the prices. And uh, uh, usually under this burden, market uh, shows a bit deeper retracement. But right now, gold even has reached just the minor retracement, so 11.58. It's not even the major 11.84, uh, 48 area. That is uh, from the whole upper DPCD patient stance. And uh, it uh, will not be the strategy if market even will drop to 1140. It's absolutely acceptable. So based on the ABCD, market could drop as far as to the major 618 support. And this will not be the canceling of the ABCD pattern. So be, yes, this will be deep retracement, but this will be still retracement. Uh, but let's hope that this will not happen. And probably the market still has some room for showing downward action here. So on the daily chart, this stop is still valid, and uh, as I said, we still confirm our bullish view on the gold market right now on the daily chart. On the intraday charts, guys, there are some moments that uh, that we should discuss. So on the forward time frame chart, take a look what we have. That's the free drive patient that we are monitoring, and uh, we had talked about it in the last week. So the market finally has hit its target. So you can see the crossing of the extensions of the second and, and, and first drive stands at the 1160 area. This market has hit it. Also take a look 
our condition for a bullish reversal was taken out of this top said if market will not reach this target and will turn to the upside we need to see that market will taken out of this top but this hasn't happened that's why we, we, we didn't get any bullish con reversal confirmation so and here what we have um, actually this drop lower is too fast and this is a bit warning sign not in terms uh, it, it, it Currently, it, uh, it is not the menace for overall bullish setup on the daily chart. I'm right now speaking only on this redrive pattern. Because uh, as market stands closer to the reversal point, it should show more smooth action and gradual action because it's preparing for reversal and the opposite forces starts to work. And the uh, market, since it, it should reverse in the opposite direction and the, and the completion point. But here we see on the opposite picture. We see the bearish acceleration right to the reversal point this completion point of this red wire pattern and that's every time this is the warning sign for any reversal pattern which means that this pattern could fail and retracement could take deeper levels uh, what we sh usually should do when we see such sort of uh, action on the market when we see the clear reversal pattern but we see a bit dangerous acceleration right to the target of this pattern. Sometimes this pattern could work even with this acceleration, but better is to wait, to drop your time frame chart and wait for the clear reversal patterns on the lower time frames. So if you will take a look at the hourly chart, you'll see that market stands in the bearish uh, in the downward channel. And uh, here guys, in fact, we, we have bullish divergence, probably we'll get it, uh, but this is not sufficient for taking the long position it's not sufficient bullish sign probably we will be watching for two moments first of all our probably this will be probably our major task on the coming week we will monitor different levels for opportunity for taking the long position so first of all we need to see the appearing of the summary reversal pattern here that will confirm that market is ready to show the upper reversal and it will be better if market will form it somewhere at some strong support there say on the confidence support uh, it will be just perfect as soon as we will get it we could try to take the long position because this will let us to place a relatively tight stop and after that we need to get second uh, confirmation secondary confirmation of the bullish reversal is market should should uh, destroy the break the consequence of the lower tops so in other words market should show the breakout out of from this range now from this minor flag page that will be second confirmation of the bullish reversal as this will happen any return back inside of the flag should be treated as the bearer so as soon as market will do this it will mean the confirmation that, that upward uh, continuation has started and market should not return back in this case so there's two moments that we will be watching for in the next week. Because right now, after the solid drop on Friday, I think it's not really mm, safe just taking the position blindly just because market has completed a free drive pattern. So be a bit risky. It's better to wait for some reversal pattern here. So that's our view on the gold market. Let's see what we'll get on the next week.